HouseLogix is now offering a new kit to repair a damaged HDMI cable. This step-by-step -step tutorial will help you walk through the repair process. Have you ever had a damaged HDMI cable that looked like this? Or have you ever pulled a TV too far off the wall and bent the end, like this? Till now, there's been no good solution for fixing an HDMI cable. The thought was always to replace the cable, but sometimes that's not always an option. Introducing the Icon Solderless HDMI Repair Kit. Here are some of the tools you will need to complete the repair. A tape measure, a needle nose, a flush cutters, a wire strippers, a flat-headed jeweler screwdriver, or a screwdriver with a 1 16th flat bit, a coax or category cable stripper, and an appropriate size shrink wrap for your HDMI cable. For an easier repair, first remove the mounting screws. Cleanly cut off the damaged HDMI end. Make sure all the inner conductors are the same length. Remove one and a half inches of the insulation. Depending on the size of the HDMI cable, a coax or category cable stripper works well. Now install the shrink wrap around the cable. It is very important that you put the shrink wrap on now as you will not be able to add it later in the process. Start to pull the metal shielding away from the cable. Be careful to separate the copper unshielded ground wire from the outer woven shield. Once you have the shield pulled away from the core of the cable, you can start to remove the shield wires with the flush cutters. Be careful not to cut any of the colored wires in the core. Pull the foil away from the core along with any non-wire strings that might be in your cable, then cut them off. In the cable used in this example, there are five inner foil cables, four shielded cables, and one ground wire. You will realize quickly that all the non-shielded or bare wires will unravel quickly. In order to alleviate this, tin the ends of all wires with a small amount of solder. Tinning the ends will also help in the termination process. When stripping the shielded wires, only take the tip of the shielding off the wire as the heat from the tinning process will shrink back more of the shielding. Once you've completed the ground wire and the four standalone shielded wires, we can move on to the foil wires. Removing the plastic and foil cover from the inner wires is one of the more difficult processes in this repair. It is crucial you take your time during these next steps. Using a 24 gauge wire strippers, close down on the wire completely, and then slightly open the strippers as you pull the shielding away from the inner wires. Keeping the strippers clamped down and pulling will most likely damage the inner wires at this point. The first time you pull away from the wire, you may only get the clear shielding that is on the outside of the foil. Put the strippers back on the wire, slightly clamping down on just the foil, and remove. Once the shielding is removed for each of these wire sets, tin the end of each wire starting with the bare wire, also known as the drain wire. Repeat this process for the rest of the foiled wire sets. Unless you already know the pinout for your HDMI cable, an option would be to tone out each wire. Here is a continuity tester that we used in this example. Continuity testing is actually quite simple. Plug the good end of your HDMI cable into the HDMI repair kit base. Clip one end of the continuity tester to the solder joints on the bottom of the HDMI repair kit base. Then check each wire till you find the appropriate wire. Then document each wire to the appropriate terminal. Then finally, insert the wire into the appropriate terminal and screw down the terminal block. In this example, most of the drains are on the opposite side of the wire that they typically run with. Continue until all wires are in the appropriate terminal block. Once all wires are terminated, connect and test the HDMI cable. After verifying that the cable terminations are good, move the shrink wrap up and heat the shrink wrap into position. Finally, put some electrical tape over top of the wire terminations just to protect them. For other products and support, please visit houselogics.com.